I think it's actually a good thing that you find or that a person finds um, some fault or some disagreement with a thinker because that tells me that the person is not just blindly believing what a person, what another scholar um, writes and says just because they wrote it and said it, right? You're actually seriously thinking about what they're saying, which is a good thing, right? Um, I would be afraid of people who would say, you know, Stefan Maunu can do no wrong, can say no wrong. You know, Larkin Rose can say no wrong. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, that's that's idolatry. That's, that's idol worship. That's, you know, the appeal to authority. And uh, that's a no-no. <laughs> that's like, that's the antithesis of being a free thinker, being an ind- right. independent thinker. And, uh, and you know, one of the memes that my uh, my friend Jim Limber Davis made, uh, which is a really awesome meme, um, he said that um, liberty, great liberty leaders create more uh, leaders rather than followers, which I think mm-hmm. is really awesome. You know, we, we want people, you know, we're not trying to, to convey these principles so that in such a complex and intricate way that that they they have to like refer to our writing or our podcasts to explain it to people you want people to understand it themselves so that they can explain it to other people right you want them to embody the principles well it's a euphemism it's a political euphemism just like um quantitative easing the, the war on terror the war on drugs right <laughs> just like all these yeah. things you know the welfare state these are political euphemisms meant to you know basically um, cloak and enshroud these these really, um, you know, horrific things that that we do. You know, it's you know you gotta call it what it is. It's not, you know, it's not getting pulled over by a police officer. It's it's getting a death threat, right? It's not it's not getting uh it's not getting arrested. It's getting kidnapped, right? It's not getting it's not we're not paying our taxes. You know, our currency is being stolen from. <laughs> it's not it's not the war on drugs. It's a it's a war on addicted people. Right, mm-hmm. so so it's very important to um, to call things by their proper names, right? As uh, as Confucius says, and and uh, as Mark Stevens said, it's not better than saying it's the government. You know, a government fundamentally doesn't exist. It's just people with guns forcing you to pay them, right? So you have to sh- strip it down away from all these um, pleasant sounding words that um, just obfuscate reality. And, uh, you know, clearly state things as they are. Yeah, when I talk to people about, um, you know, people I meet on the street, and um, and I kind of gently are talking. I'm talking about what I do with this podcast and the website. Um, you know, I ask I ask them, do you feel that you are entitled to the fruits of your labor? You know, that you work for. Yeah. How much of that are you entitled to? Right. Most people say 100. percent And I'm like, all right. So what is then taxation if you don't receive all of it? If you feel you are entitled to 100, percent then uh, some of it is immediately taken from you or stolen um what what message is that conveying that's conveying that these um, bureaucrats and politicians believe that they are entitled to the fruits of your labor that in a sense that they own part of you right or um uh, some of your labor or your time and effort right and um you know i think it's a little bit of a stretch to call that slavery but it is it is um some some kind of ownership of your time you know just imagine you know in the sense we're working like three months out of the year for free right for the state (laughs) and so if if you were to have full and complete ownership over your body and the fruits of your labor because whatever not only your body but you're responsible for the effects of your actions which includes working right and so um and, and so you're you know if you if you take that all the way then no other person or entity or organization or state has any right or or is entitled to any of that and therefore a state cannot exist right so you must be an anarchist if you truly believe that um self ownership is 100% can we voluntarily sell ourselves uh, our bodies and I'm, I'm like yeah it's called working <laughs> you know you sell yourself a portion of your time and labor and people pay you right um and then what about what about servitude can you voluntarily be someone's slave now i think that might be called um, bdsm <laughs> right <clears throat> was that bondage and slave master <laughs> relationship yeah yeah whatever it is yeah. right but but um even that is not fully being a slave because you can always opt out, right? You have a safe word. 
So even that, so so the idea is you can't voluntarily be a slave, basically, against your will. Just like you can't voluntarily, a woman cannot voluntarily be raped. We can't voluntarily be mugged or robbed from, right? If you're giving your money to somebody, it's charity. But a woman gives her body to a man, it's called sex, right? <laughs> so you can't voluntarily be a slave. <laughs> it's an involuntary act to be a slave. 